Welcome back again tacos. Thanks again for joining me for another video. This video today we're going to go over one of the triumphs for the Witch Queen and it's called No Peeking. It's where we have to close the darkness rifts throughout the throne world. It's pretty simple. I'm going to walk you through it and we'll get it done and out of the way so you can get that title faster. Before we start, I just wanted to talk about the prerequisites before we start this mission, and that would be the Parasite Grenade Launcher that you get from that exotic quest after you beat the campaign. You need this gun to be able to activate the ability to be able to then shoot these targets, so you do need to go and do that quest. I'll leave a link in the video to link you to another guide on how to get this gun. It's a very straightforward quest, and it's pretty fun. Pay attention to the dialogue. There's a lot of good stuff in there, and I hope you guys enjoy that quest as much as I do. So let's get right into the video. You're going to go to the Lost Sector in the Quagmire. I'm showing you right here on the map right now. And you're going to activate the Deep Sight like you just saw me do. And it's going to allow you to get into the Lost Sector right here. So you're going to progress down this hallway and you're going to get into the first part of the Lost Sector. And you're going to just fight through all the enemies. You're going to get through and fight to the end here that you see here. You're going to get the chest. You see the position of the chest. And then you're going to look up at the wall right here. And that's what you have to shoot, that little sliver on the wall. So then how you're going to proceed is you're going to shoot yourself with the grenade launcher. You're going to get that backsplash from the grenade launcher that you see here. And you get that buff on the left-hand side of your screen. And then you're going to switch weapons and then just shoot. And then there's the first one. And we're going to repeat that throughout the whole video here. And you're going to get what you need. The second one, as you can see, is over in the quagmire as well, over on the right-hand side. You're going to follow straight over from Finch. You're going to come over into this little area. And you're going to follow the exact path that we're taking with your sparrow or walk whatever feels better for you. Now to make sure you don't feel any pressure, I killed off all the enemies. And then if you look up right in the middle of here, you see the sliver again. You're going to do the same process where you shoot yourself with the parasite and then shoot the target. And moving right along, you're going to turn around from where we just were, hop on your sparrow, and go right through this corridor to follow on to the next spot. It's right down the road here. It's not too far. Just follow along with where we're going, and it'll lead you right up to this little area over here. And when you get on over here, just feel free to clear out all of the ads just to make it a little easier on yourself, as always, as you see us do here. Then the trick here is you have to shoot through this wall, but you actually can't shoot through it. So you have to kind of hop out onto the side and don't fall off the edge like I did here. Shoot it, and you got the next one going pretty easily. Let's keep on going right to the next one. We're going to head over to the Sepulcher Lost Sector, which is right across the road here. You just hop on your sparrow real fast, and it's right underneath this little area over here. And the same thing still applies. You just run through the Lost Sector, kill all the bosses, and then when you get to the end and you see the chest here, you can grab it, of course. And then right over here to the side, you see what we need to do. Same thing as usual. You shoot the ground, you keep moving, and we'll be right on to the next one in no time. So there is one thing I want to point out before we get to the next area is that I would suggest switching over to a scout rifle like you see me do here because it makes it a little easier on yourself. We're going to the Court of Thorns and this area is a little glitched on this one. You can't see it so you have to test your shot a little bit and I'll show you how to line it up here in a second. But just make sure that you have something that has a little more range to it. It doesn't have to be a sniper rifle but I suggest a scout rifle and test some shots until you see it hit immune and you'll know you're shooting the right spot and you'll have an idea where to go. I'll show you here in a second. My friend Unholy here is going to shoot here and show us where we're going to go and then when you zoom in you can see the roundabout area and you see me hitting immune. So that's the spot that you need to shoot but you need to find it first. It's a very small area that you have to hit so just practice your shot like you see me doing here and then repeat the process just like anything else. You're going to pull out your grenade launcher and you're going to shoot and then be able to actually get what you need to get done. The next spot is located in the Queen's Bailey. We're going to take a quick little trip right outside from where we were, hop back on our sparrows, and we are going to follow the little path. It's pretty straightforward. It's a little loading screen there. <laughs> and we're, it's right up on a wall. It's actually pretty easy to find. I was familiar with this area. I didn't realize it was there last time I went, and Unholy was able to point it out to me. So we just follow down these little corridors, and I suggest staying on your sparrow. Don't get rid of it. Keep it there to try to get back out of here. It's way faster. So you go up these little steps, left-hand side here. It's right up on the middle of the wall. You kind of can't see it, so I wanted to make sure I get that shadow behind it so you can see. And then same situation as always, use your parasite and get it done. 
For the next few chests, we're going to be in the Miasma, and you're going to go to the Lost Sector. I suggest that you go to Finch in the beginning and just go with your Sparrow and travel up there with that. It's a little faster than just trying to travel the other way. And then you're going to go through the Lost Sector here, and this one's a little hard to get to, but I will explain how to get through it. You're going to go up this little ramp after you get the chest and you have to look at the angle that I'm going to show you to get the best shot possible and you're going to look down and you're going to just try to get your shot off. I may suggest a submachine gun or something to be a little better but you're going to shoot the parasite before you go up. You're going to hop on top of this teleporter. It's going to go up and then you're going to shoot it at the top. So if we watch it again, I slowed it down here so you can see it a little better. Just face towards that side of the wall. You're going to come up and just keep your cursor in the middle of your screen. And then you're going to see it as you come up, do a quick little shot, and you're good to go there. If you miss it, you can stop yourself from falling as you see me do here and jump back up and shoot it. You don't have to worry about it. If you miss, just go through again. Continuing on in Miasma, we have the next one right over here right underneath the strike. You're going to encounter two light bearing hive. You're going to kill them and you're going to find the piece right on the right hand side of the screen. Um, these guys really aren't that bad. Just take them out real fast, make your life a little easier so you don't have to worry about it. And then if you come over right here on the right hand side, it's right up on top of this little statue, I guess you want to call it. And same as always, parasite, shoot it. You're on to the next one. For this next one, we're in for a bit of a hike. So just follow the route that we're taking to the Temple of Cunning. We are really in for a little bit of a ride here. I sped it up to try to make it a little easier on us. But just follow this all the way through, and we're going to get to the Temple of Cunning towards the end. And you're going to have a pretty easy shot here, but you'll see how to get there following us here. Unholy and I got a little sidetracked doing some uh, enemy killing, but I tried to stay on track here and get us right back going. As you can see, we got a long way to go. That is the one bad part about the throne world. There's pretty much one fast travel spot, and that's all we, that's all we got. And the rest, you just got to really just run it out. So just stay strong. Do a little music listening. Do a little something to keep you busy, but fight your way through. Don't worry about these enemies. You don't have to kill them. Just keep on going. And uh, we're going to get to the bottom eventually and just keep going through here, cross the bridge, and it's going to be up here to the right. So we'll just jump up on top here and we're going to follow right up on top of this little cliff here. And this is where we want to be to take our shot. Same as always, parasite, shoot, and you got the piece. Now we're on to the last part. We're almost done. We make our way over to the entrance of the Altar of Reflection. So we have it marked on the map here. So that's where it's going to take us. We go over here and get access to the altar. And you go through the altar just like you normally would. And you beat all the enemies. You get through to the final part. But don't click square quite yet. You're going to try to focus on getting the piece at the end here. It's a very easy little bit. It's on the left-hand side. You're going to see here in a second. And then you do what we've been doing this whole time. You use your parasite, you take your shot, and then you are done. We are out of here. You got the triumph. Thanks for coming out for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad we got to do this together. I'm happy to get this part done. I'm excited to do this. And a big shout out thank you to Unholy King for helping with the video. He helped walk us through all this stuff and get us this good information so that everybody can be accurately informed on how to get this triumph done. Thanks again for coming out, guys. I'm glad you were here. Please leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you think of the video. I'll see you in the next one.